This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I heard somebody say in the church, there's a blessing in the pressing and we are pressing on today. Glory be to God. Welcome back to All Things Possible, prophetic brand with yours truly, prophetess seeker Esther Grace. I am so glad you decided to tune in with me. We welcome you, precious Holy Spirit. I decrease so that you may increase. Have your way. Come and do what you do. Glory be to God. I pray all is well in your land, royal priesthood family. I pray the blessings of the Lord be upon you that make it rich and add no sorrow. I pray no weapon, emotional, psychological, physical, financial, a uh, family, any type of weapon that the enemy is trying to use to devise, to, to demise you, to destroy you. I decree and declare Isaiah 54 and 17 in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. We send every weapon back in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. As you can see. The title of today's message, apply the blood with pressure, apply the blood with pressure. And we're talking about the blood of Jesus. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Glory be to God. There are two foundational scriptures that I will be applying to this prophetic word. According to uh, Exodus 12 and 13. Leviticus 8 and 30. So if you have your Bible, come on and um, turn with me and let's see what the Lord has to say about applying the blood with pressure. Glory be to God. Mm. Exodus 12 verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. Leviticus 8 and 30. And Moses took of the anointing oil and of the blood which was upon the altar and sprinkled it upon Aaron and his garments and sanctified Aaron. Glory be to God. Passover became an annual remembrance of how God delivered the Hebrews from Egypt. Each year, the people would pause to remember the day when the destroyer, God's angel of death, passed over their homes. They gave thanks to God for saving them from death and bringing them out of a land of slavery and sin. Likewise, for us today, as believers of Jesus Christ, many of us have experienced a day of deliverance from something or another, from various sins, situations, people, and etc., the day we were delivered from spiritual death and slavery to sin, once we confessed Jesus as Lord, we invited him into our heart, we confessed him as Lord over our life, that was our day of deliverance from spiritual death and slavery to sin. The Lord's Supper is our Passover remembrance of our new life and freedom from sin. The next time, I want you to be encouraged and hear me. The next time struggles and trials, because they will come your way. Remember how God has delivered you in the past and focus on his promises of your new life beginning in him and with him. We are in 2021. Glory be to God. This is a new year. This is a new season and this is a new time. You remember Back in several videos, I was, uh, the Lord gave me a word about speak life. And remember, you will have what you say. If you continue to speak those things that you were speaking in 2020 negatively, then you will also see it in 2021. But if you speak a new thing, you speak the blessings of the Lord and you're speaking what God is saying, not what they're saying, that you will have what you say. You will have the blessings of the Lord. I decree and declare newness be upon you. I command Isaiah 43 and 19 to be your portion 
where God does a new thing and I, I command new blessings and new opportunities and new ways and new wisdom from the Lord. I command the newness in the name of Jesus. Receive it by faith. I command the newness in Jesus name. Glory be to God. Hebrews 12 verse 24 to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant and the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than Abel. In essence, this scripture describes to us believers the contrast between God's approach with the people at Mount, Mount Sinai and their joyful approach at Mount Zion. Jesus made a huge difference. We thank God for Jesus. Before Jesus came, God seemed distant and somewhat threatened. People were scared and intimidated by him. After Jesus came as that mediator, that, that intercessor, God welcomes us through Christ into his presence. Accept God's invitation today. I will always allow the Lord to use me to stop and interrupt this broadcast and say to whoever is listening, because I know you here, because he has interrupted. If you have not confessed Jesus as Lord, I admonish you and urge you to invite Jesus into your heart. Confess him as Lord. Believe that he is the son of God. Ask him to take you to that new place in him, that new dimension in him. Ask him to do a new thing in your life and then get connected to a Bible believing church and watch him grow you in ways that you can only imagine. Watch him do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think according to the Holy Ghost power that worketh within you. Watch him do a new thing for you in 2021. Watch the old things be passed away and behold, he do something new. But guess what? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That don't mean trials and tribulation is going to stop. But that means that you have a helper. You have someone to see you through the storms of life and you have someone to redeem you and restore you and, and make the devil out of the liar that he is concerning your life. I pray in the name of Jesus that you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. Glory be to God. Apply the blood of Jesus over this day over your family, over your church family, over your home, over your city, over your state, and over your nation. And guess what? Apply the blood of Jesus over your 2021. Allow the blood to deliver, cleanse, and sanctify areas of your life that only the blood of Jesus can do. Allow it to protect as well. Allow it to shield you as well. The blood of Jesus is our only counter agent. When there is no blood covering, there is no protection. Sin is free to be corrupt and, and, and to destroy our lives. But if we apply the blood of Jesus along with the, the salvation of confession and, and confession, of confession uh, uh, the salvation of prayer as Jesus as Lord over our life and, and, and allow him to dominate and, and not so much in a way of a negative way, because we hear that word domination. And we automatically think like, oh, wait, whoa, that's type, some type of control. When I say allow him to dominate, allow him to be Lord and not just your savior, but allow him to rule and reign over your life. That's what I mean. I mean, in a positive life, because he is not going to allow uh, no evil to overtake you. He's not going to take you on a wrong path. Jesus is going to give you the truth and the light. He's going to echo the voice of the father, which is in heaven. He's going to echo the promises and the blessings of the Lord that is upon your life that the Lord has already summoned to be and through the father in heaven to be a blessing for your 2021. So I want you to take time out to really apply the blood of Jesus over your day. It's not a day to go by that. I don't apply the blood of Jesus over myself, over my day to day activity, over my family, over my church, over you all. I plead the blood of Jesus often over this channel. I plead the blood of Jesus over the atmosphere, over the city, over the region. I apply the blood. I loose the blood to do what it needs to do. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. There is power 
in the blood of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and honor. Lord God, I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over this day, over my YouTube family, over this prophetic brand, over this channel, over my family members, over our activities, over our time here with you. And to, I ask that you allow this blood to protect us and shield us, oh God, and even cleanse us from all unrighteousness and to protect us from our enemies in the name of Jesus. Apply the blood of Jesus with pressure. I pray that you have been blessed. I pray that you take these scriptures and go further into your personal devotion because that's what this ministry and prophetic brand is about to give you a jump start to give you a boost, to give you encouragement, to bring you even correction and love. And as you're being corrected, I'm being corrected. We're in this together. We're in this together. We're seeking the Lord together. We're allowing him to download his wisdom and strategies inside of us together. This is the day that he has made. Remember, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Glory be to God. And remember Jesus is Lord. God bless you.